All right, let's see. Looks like we have a small group, but we'll go ahead and uh, get started since we have some of us here. Um, let's see, uh, Miss Marion, if you're able, by thought si, to start a Miss Marion, can you hear me? Miss Marion, I don't know if you can hear me. Would you be able to give us an opening prayer? Okay, maybe we're having audio trouble. Let's see. Can you guys hear me? Can anyone else hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Aho. Uh, Grandma D, Bay Dot Sai. Oh, the darling. A cost a dog. God, God, a dog, of course, don't get a more hammer. I'm Tom Peter. I could get hot, get high, they hold dog, hold it, you know. They sought the care of God dog, or tame, I'm a tame, and you go my dog. Oh, oh, they old. God don't get at all. Yeah, Sean did. Oh, give me a hold of it. Yeah, how I get out. They pay the dog. The good they dog. By hold or by cope, they'll buy. And they get sang at all. Okay. I mean, dog, they, the dad, or the gut. The dog they say though. I'm um I'm a hold the arm on dog. I'm basically the dog ye they know on the dog. He 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 go go go. A hold. Amen. A hold. Aho. Well, um, let's see. Hande Batsai Tha. Um, how many on here were able to make it to the credentialing in person on Saturday, August 19th? I made it. All right. Awesome. Um, okay. uh, uh, 
Yeah, so I just wanted to see whoever made it, if uh, if you'd be willing to share some reflections and let us know how it went. Yeah, um, so Dane wanted me to, um, to, I thought I was going to go do kinship, um, but Dane wanted to go over the, um, I guess where he was, he, he would read and I or he would talk in Kawa, and I would have to translate what he said. So um, he wasn't there. It was uh, he was on um, a Zoom, and so Courtney would read something to him in Kawa, and he would respond back, and I would just say what he said or what he was asking, and it was just it was a different format than before, and it, I, I enjoyed it. It was real good. I was surprised at how much I knew and was able to answer. So I actually passed that part anyway. Congrats, Tim. I can't oh, yeah. tell you that, but you passed your exam. Oh, who's this guy right here? God dang, movie star. Uh. <laughs> How you doing, Max? I haven't seen you forever. Good. <sighs> hey, Tim, I was meaning to let you know I just moved to Oklahoma City. Oh, okay. Okay, I was wondering yeah. about that. I'd love to get together with you and uh, you and yours pretty oh. soon if you're available. All right, yeah, that sounds good. But I think uh, Melody, what I really liked was just, of course, just to join the company and see everybody and being around everybody. But then, what I really enjoyed was like listening to Courtney do her level two, and then you just sitting there kind of listening, and and it was just surprised that you know you starting to understand more than you realize you might not be able to you know they say you can understand more before you can uh, speak it and I, that's the that's the case so if you get a chance well, are, are you able to download that what i send you Melody? Um, I think so. So I'm on my phone in my car. So I'm gonna I'll try to share it since Courtney said oh, okay. it's okay. Yeah. But yeah, I can try. It. Um, really quick, uh, thank you for that, Tim. Uh, just to let you all know, I saw Allison and Max also joined us. So welcome. Um, uh, Melody. Uh, I was there from nine thirty to eleven, and they were just. I saw Tim, and then I had to leave. So, I was hoping the on so I could ask him uh, how it went. But anyway, uh, that was all. I was there for part of it. So, and welcome, Max. Oh, it's good to hear everyone's voices. Oh, Aho, Grandma D. Um, yeah, I, I don't see any of the other uh, credentialing board members on the Zoom yet. They might join us, but I don't see anyone yet. Um, let's see. So, Max, I'm sure... I don't know if you you've probably seen the emails, but I know it's also been busy for you too. Um, but uh, we just had a the August round of credentialing in person interviews, and so we were just kind of going and sharing kind of some reflections and you know kind of how it went, what our thoughts were, that type of thing. And Tim just shared um, his reflection, and then Grandma D, and uh, so just wanted to see um, Allison. I don't know if you were able to make it but if you're able to if you're willing to share um <clears throat> i was there i think um as grandma d was leaving i came i was like an hour late and uh it um it was really good seeing everybody but um the level two um i was gonna try it and i didn't but I watched Courtney go through it and, um, I watched Tim. They both did really good. Um, I guess, I guess I just get stressed. 
But um, the level two is very interesting because he'll ask you a question in Kiowa and you respond in Kiowa. So it's a little bit different um, than the level one. And it's a little um, more, um, what do you say, in um, encompasses like everything you've kind of learned in that conversation. And her um, conversation piece took like six minutes. I don't remember how long Tim took, but he did really good. Um, I guess we all just kind of get a little kind of nervous and stressed, but it was um, nice to uh, see that in person because usually you're by yourself with all the credentialing board. So it was more relaxed a little bit when we were all at the table and in a group. So, Omaha. <laughs> I guess I should have said that. I'm done. <laughs> Um, Melody, Haya in Bon Bonma. Is it Bonma? Haya in Ba. Ba. Haya in Ba. Haya in Bama. Where are you going? Is what you're asking her. Oh. You went to... She's driving somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we might have lost her. Gamma D. Oh, Ah. No, um. I and you have and you. Oh, ha. Ha, ha, So I gotta get used to all that. Oh. Oh. We kind of lost Melody, I think. We, we lost Melody. Well, she's here. Oh, there she is. She's here. I think she said she's driving. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my.
Yes. Hi, everyone. It's Cricket. I just joined. Hey, Cricket. Hey. Good on day. Oh. Okay. So, um, long time no see. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I've had a lot of life changes happen recently. So, I'm in Oklahoma City and uh cricket i've been um meaning to get in contact with you about getting y'all to perform at ou oh okay yeah i'd love Sounds to have y'all oh we will start getting some dates and see what you have in mind that sounds great yeah just text me will do um could you send me your phone number i got a new phone i have the same phone number but okay yeah, I had some um, numbers get deleted from my uh, number book. All right, so, uh -huh. uh, oh, I hope. Hey, everyone, this is Melody again. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Melody, are they singing? Uh -huh. Yeah, these, uh, they're, we're over here at the uh, Kiowa Tribe HHS building in Anadarko. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those boys are singing. So, cool. um, sorry, I was having audio issues. Um, but let's see, we have uh several of us here now. Uh, but what we wanted to do, I thought we could just kind of reflect and debrief on the in-person credentialing session. And then, I don't know, Grandma D, if you had a chance to ask your question, but Dane's on the line and. Grandma D wanted to know how everything went after she left. Okay, I'm here. I had to step away for a second. So if you called me out, or called me out earlier, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't here. But um, yeah, um, it went, it went really well. We got to actually try out the new format for the level one, and I think that worked out well. It was pretty fast and efficient. Um, we did it in a format to where um me and another teacher trainee a uh, credential teacher uh, we actually went through the conversations and for the level one they translated everything we said uh, we said so it kind of showed that you know they do understand what we do know that they understand what we're saying and i think it was just it, it went along much smoother so it wasn't so surprising and they <laughs> and they were able to, uh, and I think it was Tim who Tim who got to do it that way. So um, it was a little bit more streamlined than the way we originally had it. So the way we originally had it, that still applies to Kai for the level two, but now for level one, it's mostly a translation. You're translating a, a conversation between two people, and then everybody else who's on, who's there to evaluate, all they have to do is listen. So. I still got to turn in two of mine from earlier, and then I got to, uh, with Mrs. Herriger, I got to let her uh, get the recordings so that she can listen to them and so she can turn her, make do her evaluation. But it was, it went pretty smooth. There wasn't very many of those evaluations, but the ones that we did do actually went uh, pretty well. Oh. And uh, for anybody who's on the board, I don't know if there's too many that are from the board that, that are on here. Well, um, we got approved to have uh, a meeting once a month again. Originally, we're gonna ha we have to switch to where we have to do it every other month. So uh, we'll have to do it for this month. So next Wednesday, we'll go ahead and have a board meeting since uh, we're, uh, uh, they approved us to have a, the meetings every month again. So, um, so I'll make that announcement. I'll send the email out to you. But any board member that that's here, uh, we will be having a board meeting next week. On Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday six, okay. 
And then from there, we'll just move on to this meeting. Do we get a date for uh, possibly the next time for credentialing? Uh, uh, that's one thing we'll have to we'll have to agree on on that one. So if, if we can get that as soon as possible, uh, an agreeable date on that, then we can give y'all a, a date. Now, um, for the people who have a hard time uh, getting here, that may uh, that may be a good question to kind of get answered now before we make the plan is what is probably the best dates for the or the best weekend or week dates that that work out for people who are out of state. Okay. Uh... Um, I just wanted to put out there that um, with this NVR grant that we are uh, in our agreements, we have a, a outreach that will be on Zoom that we're supposed to accomplish. And we're doing a winter outreach, so, uh, or holiday outreach in December. So we're looking at possibly December 11th. When you start throwing dates out there, I just want you to keep that date in mind that we, that we want to do a, a Zoom outreach with all of us that are on, you know, practicing and all that. Uh, a Zoom outreach for adults and families. Um, and our tentative date right now is December 11th. Okay, do you know what time on the 11th? Um, yeah, uh, 7.30, 7.30 to um, nine, I think it was. Okay, I should be okay. That's finals week, but I'll go check my schedule, but I, sh I should be okay in the evening. Okay. Um, yeah, and if it doesn't work, we can change it to a different day, you know, okay. if we want to change it to the 18th, it's just that everybody starts getting busy for Christmas. Okay. Well, Dane, if you do them on the weekend, uh, looks like the winter time, like November, December, January, is pretty good for me. Okay. I'm not ending or anything. Yeah, January does give us a little, gives everybody a little bit of time. So if we decide on January, then you know it gives gives a little extra month for everybody to plan. Right. Oh, yeah, get through the holidays. Yeah. Okay. So we can probably talk about that in our next meeting. And then we can kind of give a couple dates out and we'll see which one works pretty well. Well, wow. okay. And then what I was meaning to do, I know with uh, I know with Alice, with you specifically, we talked about it as <clears throat> when it comes to working with this, um, I was actually going to uh, kind of slow down and take it back to uh, working with people over those kind of the help phrases, some of the ones who are going through some of these levels. And uh, if you're kind of getting, um, um, if there's certain pieces to this that are kind of harder, then those help phrases should be able to get you through uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, usually, I can give you better hints when you use them because you are still using Kiowa when you when you uh, use these help phrases that we have. But the thing is about using them, you have to be put into a position to use them. So that's kind of what I want to do today. So I can I can kind of lecture about help phrases as long as you know for a long time and drone on about it. But it's better just to get into the room and start putting people in the position where they'll have to use it. So we have to find out whether they know them all first. And then if they do know them, then just kind of put go into situations and, and create new situations in which everybody has to uh, anybody who needs to practice on those actually has to use them. Because in the language part, I know there's the part where you're just trying to straight memorize what the word is and how it translates. Then you go on to, well, how do I respond if somebody uses those phrases with me? So that's the second part. And then the third part is like, how do I use them when I need them? So it, you're using, you're using them and you're learning them in different ways. 
uh, over just straight memorization. And so the only way to really learn how to do that is to put you in positions where that's uh, uh, where you do have to use them because there are uh, quite a few people that use them now, uh, but not everybody was put into a position where they had to. And I think that's really what I want to work on today. And with some of the ones that were kind of um, wanting, wanting some extra time and extra help on that, that's really what I wanted to uh, do today with those people is to go into a breakout room and kind of put them into those positions while everybody else gets to kind of move on and work with stuff and, and, and uh, just do as, as we do on the regular meetings. So um, that's kind of where, what I'm, what I was going to focus on today, at least. Oh, so Dan, are you going to make some uh, breakout yeah. rooms? Yeah. Awesome. I like how um, you put that, Dane. Like when memorizing to respond when somebody um, speaks to you. Uh, and then the three, um, then three was, uh, how do you use them? How do you, how do you use it when you need to speak? Oh, let me see. I, okay, I, may, I got three rooms ready. One's called help, help phrase practice. Then we got practice room one, practice room two. People are working on other stuff. So I'll open those and I'm going to go to that help phrase practice. And anybody who goes in there, then we'll just kind of uh, just kind of make situations. I'll, I'll gear it toward what it is that you're um, that you're wanting to move on to next. So if you're going to go on to the grammar part, then I'll make those questions applied to the grammar portion. If you're doing the, if you're doing the conversation for level one or level two, I'll apply it to the conversational part whenever I work with you. So I'll make it work with what you're working on. All right, uh, cool. Cool. Oh. So what was the, okay, so what was he going to do with the help phrase one? What did he say? Um, Cricket, I think he said uh, that he's going to um, be in that help phrase room and basically put people in a situation where they'll need to use the help phrases to just get us to practice using the help phrases. Okay. Um, depending on what level, like where we're going next. So like if we still have to do the grammar part for level two, then he'll ask some questions around that. And then we would use the help phrases to help understand what he's saying. Something like that. I, that's how I understood it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I want to. And then the other two rooms are just open, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can uh, see who's in. Right oh, now, I, I see guess my... everybody in help phrase practice. <laughs> yeah, they're probably all jumping in there to get some. I think I that. might, yeah, I might listen in on that one. I want to work on, you know what I would like to work on if somebody wants to help me is um, making, like if somebody talks to me um, and says, uh, a kinship term, you know, but I don't, I don't want to read it. I don't, I, I just want to hear it, you know, and, uh, and then see if I know what they're talking about. So oh. if somebody would like to help me with that, but I think I might, uh, jump in because I, I, I don't, a lot of times don't get a lot of people asking me stuff. And so, it would so it's hard for me to practice as I haven't got somebody asking me stuff. Um, oh, and so if somebody wants to help me practice that, but I do want to go and see what he's talking about in the in his room real fast. Okay, awesome. Okay, I will see y'all in a little bit. 
Oh. Let's see. So, um, Grandma D or Aunt Carolyn, were you going to jump into one of the into the breakout room as well? Is that where everybody is? I think that's yeah. I think that's where they all went. The one that says help phrases, help phrase practice. And I guess uh, Dane's going to uh, give people some scenarios and have them have to kind of force them to use the help phrases, it sounds like. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to ask Marion to talk about with her? Uh, <laughs> Courtney. One day. Uh, uh, what did you do Saturday? I did uh, um, conversation level two, I think. That was level two. Um, it, well, it was because uh, Tim did level one and then we did level two. Okay, so what did you do? Um, we just uh, talked back and forth. He... Um, I followed the different conversational phrases. Uh, he asked those and then I responded back. And he went through about 14 of them is what I think I remember. Um, Was it just general oh, wow. conversation or did he elaborate more on certain uh, questions or responses? It was um, pretty much the ones that we have been practicing um, for the, the lessons that we've been going over this past year. And then before that, it was um, so it was pretty much um, just kind of picking through, like he didn't do, like, you know how it's um, uh, Hande Onde Aim Sun and uh, Hande Onde Aim Oi Tate. Like if he asked one of those, um, or he would just mostly ask just one of those kind of going through if, if you can think of like those slides that we've been looking at um uh -huh. and then what's your name what's your kiowa name uh where do you live or where did you grow up and then um um who's your mom who's your dad and how old are you and I kind of stumbled on that one. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. Have, uh, that's what mixed us up <laughs> in my recording that we did is that uh, he asked how old. Initially, originally, I think he might have asked how old I was. Um, and then he changed it real quick and asked how old Jude was. Um, after he also asked, I think, uh, my son's name. And then, and then uh, ask how old he was. And that's where the help phrases came in handy. And I had to remember how to respond to that. And then also how to say 13 in Kiowa. Oh, okay. And also had so you had to know some kinship terms. Yeah. 
Paul. So he did sprinkle that in there and I, and it was just those ones. It was mom, dad. Uh, so your what's your mom's name? What's your dad's name? What's your son's name? And then how old is your son? I think is the one that he asked. Um, it was fun though. It was, um, and it took us about six minutes to go through those and I think he was kind of going for more of like um, how many phrases we to we could respond to, and um, I wanted to keep going, um, but we just kind of ended it after we kind of got mixed up on the who he was asking how old they were, <laughs> and he kind of explained that he said I try not to ask a woman how old they are. So I'll ask somebody else. I'll ask you about whoever you're talking about. So in that case, it was Jude, but we kind of stumbled on it a little bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it went good. Okay. So you just did the conversation level two. Oh, oh, yeah, I need a little bit more time and um I wish I would have done level two pronouns back a year ago because I was really doing pretty okay with those but then I I guess I have regress like we do <laughs> mm -hmm. um but that was what helped I that's what I told him and actually I shared it with the elder mentors because I no, Grandma um, D, he told us to work on our grammar, and that is where it's really needed is on those, some of those questions of where he was asking about your family, what's their, what's his or her name, and then being able to respond in, with the remembering to respond with the proper pronoun um in those in that response um and seeing how that would help to be more uh, fluent in that um so that's kind of where i'm looking at is trying to do the um prone the uh pronouns and then also the kinship is where I'm trying to put my focus on. And I know I need, and I guess the, then I'll really start focusing on the story. But I think if you went through the first, um, the original conversational that we did last uh, June, I think you'll do pretty good if you can answer some of the basic conversational and go back and forth and then also kind of ask um, uh, I guess where is, is where I would like to improve on is to try to engage a little bit more with follow-up questions back to uh, the person that's credentialing that's that you're having that conversation with so it was just you and dane in the conversation paul oh. and the elder the the board was listening and evaluating oh okay oh hey uh courtney so that's really oh, helpful. Okay. I just wanted to uh, mention really quick that uh, Nelson joined us. And Nelson, just so you know, we're kind of just reflecting on the in-person credentialing that happened on the 19th. But uh, ev pretty much everyone else is with Dane in this practice room or a breakout room called Help Phrase Practice. Dane's uh, kind of giving people some situations and scenarios where they have to use the help phrases with him. And he's kind of getting people to practice those. But um, I just wanted to mention that really quick uh, so you know that there's some breakout rooms available. Oh, you're welcome to stay here. It's up to you. 
Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, and Courtney Hyundai Sai Sa. Hyundai. Um, so Tim texted me a recording. And is that the recording that you're talking about? Is that the recording from uh oh. Saturday? Oh. He he said uh, that you gave us permission to listen to it. <laughs> yes, but I would want to I will want to excuse myself, but I'll just listen to myself. I don't want to hear me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said yes, but I, I don't hear, want to you. hear myself. So no. Well, um, well, I was, okay. I was just wondering. I don't want to put you on the spot, but I was just wondering if maybe if uh, Carolyn would be able to hear the recording, just so she can hear how you know what the experience was like. I don't know if that would be helpful at all, Aunt Carolyn, but just wanted to mention that in case Courtney was willing. <laughs> I don't mind if it. If It'll help whoever it, it's fine. Okay. Did, did Tim do the, you said, who who did you send this to? Uh, Tim, Tim recorded it, and uh, he did level one, and he has his recording and how it, that one went, and then he recorded mine, and it was level two, um, and he sent it to Melody. Oh, so, oh. do you, uh, Aunt Carolyn, can I just try to forward you the the text message that Tim sent me? It's just the audio file. I think it says AMR at the end. Yeah, yeah. I could try, yes. I could try that because I don't want to, we're recording this. I mean, I could pause the recording, but uh -oh. I don't want to play the, the recording for the whole universe. Um, but uh since Courtney said it's okay to share with you, maybe I can just forward the one that Tim sent me uh, to you directly, and then you could see if I haven't even tried to play it on my phone. But let me uh, let me see if I could just forward it along to you. It's okay. I think it. Or uh, it's okay if you want to play it, Melody. I told him it was okay. Are you sure? Okay, so <laughs> I think Grandma Dorothy's gonna. I mean, not Grandma Dorothy. Grandma D's gonna have to listen to it anyway. So. that's true <laughs> yeah <laughs> she oh man evaluate me. <laughs> no yeah it's fine well uh -ho. um okay well let me see if I can I don't know if I can I'm gonna try I'll try to share it to see if anyone can hear the sound so hey thought while I pull it up Okay, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to try to share my screen. Now I don't know if cause I'm on my phone. So share the audio. Okay, uh, I'm going to play it a couple seconds and then uh, I can't see my screen anymore. Uh, but someone just tell me if you can hear it. How you go it on high here though? Ha, Shande, go it on high get earth. Ha, Shande, go it on high get off. Oh. Okay, can I hear that? Oh. Okay. Oh. I don't know how long it is. Courtney, did uh, Tim say? It should be about six minutes. Okay. Um. 
do we want to listen to the whole thing or do you want me to just try to forward it to you, Aunt Carolyn? You can try to forward it to me. Okay. Oh. All right, let me stop sharing and go back over here. Cool. Well, at least we know the recording. It works. <laughs> um, I never like hearing myself either, Courtney. So I totally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens when I forward it. Okay. I'm trying to send it right now. Um. Let's see. Uh. Nelson, I don't know if you're still here with us, but uh, would you Ooh. be willing to share any reflections from, like, or any thoughts or reactions that you had to Saturday? I heard you got to go there and check it out. Um, actually, I didn't make it down there this past Saturday. I got oh, I was okay. My, yeah, I was on my way, and I got called into work. <laughs> So, oh, um, my God. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was just jumping on just to see how things went myself. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I know, Um, didn't last time, like in May, didn't you do, you did like, uh, the was it the grammar or the kinship? You did one of them that's like, that was different from what we did. Um, I believe I did the kinship terms. Oh. Yeah. See, that's the that's the one that I have to do still. Yeah, it was it was it was challenging. Um but if you, like one thing that helped was the chart, how it's laid out and then uh, so yeah, it's, it was I needed to do more studying on it, but yeah, it was good. Did uh did they tell you if you passed or not? Um, I'd be honest with you, I don't even remember. I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I really Do don't I need? <laughs> the feelings mutual. <laughs> like I couldn't think about what did they ask? What did he ask first? <laughs> yeah, was, uh, so, I think it was like last, the time before that one was like really trying to study up and go in there and be ready. And then like the more you try and then like the, when you go in there, you just like, it all goes out the window as soon as you go in. And so I try not to do that this, this past time back in May. And then I don't know, it was still challenging, <laughs> but yeah. Nelson, I was thinking about you whenever we did it because uh, when we did the conversation, because uh, I fig or I I didn't know if you had done it before, but like from our practices and stuff that we did this past spring, I thought, oh, he'll nail it if he hasn't already done it. Whenever, because you'll you will. It I think all of us will do fine on the conversational if you can work through maybe some of the different questions. Because there was some that I was worried about. And it was, it ended up being good. Okay, I, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's exciting and uh, it's 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 awesome to see the the progress that we're making. You know, really, really oh. thankful to our elders. Yeah, pronouns. That's where it's at. <laughs> Uh, have you done that one yet? Have you done the grammar yet? Um, no. I um, yeah, me either for level two. <laughs> still, that's a, still that's my goal. <laughs> yeah, I just did the kinship terms, and uh, I actually turned in my um story uh two weeks ago. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I haven't heard nothing though, because I know it'll probably take a while. Ah, oh, and I think uh, I don't know if you when you joined, but uh, before they went to the breakout rooms, Dane mentioned that they're gonna have a uh, 
the board language board is going to meet uh, next week, next Wednesday. And I think he said that's when they're going to try to review the recordings from that were, you know, from this past Saturday. So probably be another another week before you hear something. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. So, um, yeah, so Nelson, if you want to, uh, if you want help with the, or if you want situations where you're having to use the help phrases, that's what Dane's doing in that breakout room that says help phrase practice. Um, cause he said that's one area that he's, his observation was that people could really, basically they could, if we use our help phrases, to kind of stay in Kiowa and prompt our mentors or the um, whoever's assessing us, then we'll have a better chance of scoring higher and passing because we're using the help phrases. So he wants people to kind of use those more. And so that's what he's doing is kind of giving people some scenarios in that breakout room. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, hey. Uh, there's Cricket. Hey, Cricket, you're back. How Hi. Is it? <laughs> um, well, the, he was just doing, we just went over the help phrases and then um, he just started doing some conversation stuff. So Nice. Um, I'm kind of okay. curious about that because uh, my, uh, my little high school Kiowa class that I'm teaching this semester there or this year, they're... Um, we're going to do help phrases next week. Okay. Yeah, that's on our lesson plan. Cool. Um, let's see. Oh, so uh, I think, uh, Cricket, you had something that you wanted to work on with someone. And I know we have a couple uh, candidates in here, mm -hmm. uh, both Nelson and Courtney, who done some of those pieces for level two already. So I don't know if uh, either of them would be able to partner up and support you. I yeah, forget what I just, you wanted to work on. If anybody wanted to like, um, I guess I kind of need some people asking me questions, you know? Um, so like, I just, cause I just don't get that that often, you know? Um, <clears throat> so that would be helpful. Like, or just one of the things I wanted to make sure I have are some of those kinship terms. Um, uh, the ones that I just kind of want to know, like, see if I know the, um, the ones that we don't use that often for certain things, you know, so I don't, I can't think of them right now, but, um, and so just like, I wanted to go over that. And, um, then of course I'm always, I'm always down for pronouns <laughs> for practicing those. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wanted to go over like somebody asked, you know, talking about, uh, or asking me a question about, kinship oh you mean like in english and you say it in kiowa is that no i wanted to uh like see if i understand what somebody's saying in um in Kiowa. So say like uh, Ms. Herger, if you ask me uh, how's your mom or something uh, or how's his mother or how is uh, you know you know something like that. Do I know what you're saying? That's kind of wanted to, I wanted to test myself to see if I knew what what um what you were saying in Kiowa. Hmm. 
So for instance, mm. okay, like if I if I used our charts. And remember when we have those uh, those questions on the charts that we can ask, and then when we were in class and we asked, we had to figure out what that person was saying. Excuse me. I guess I'll ask you. Hatsa atsa yiko. Um. Okay. That would be. Right. So that would be um that's a good one. Okay. So you're asking me if I'm trying to figure is it my say it again, Mom. Okay. So would that be my Is that pronoun? Shall I tell her? No. Okay, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure it out if we're talking about somebody else's or if we're talking about my, my aunt. My, uh, my aunt. Say it again. Hata, hata, ye yeah, is it my aunt? What's my aunt's name? Which aunt? So that would be my dad's sister. But is it, oh. are you talking about my aunt's name? Well, it is your, yeah, your aunt's okay. name. That's okay, you. so I would say, okay, uh, na. I would just say Jackie Kong. That would be my dad's sister's name. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Jackie Kong. Okay. That was a good one. Can you try to, can you give me another one? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. How they? No, I better not ask you that. Cause I don't. I don't know that part of it myself. Uh, how get a tall girl? How you a tall tall girl? Oh, how you a tall tall ba? Hmm. Except for he doesn't anymore. But where did he? Um, well, also remember that his brothers are your dads too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they, yeah, they all passed. Um, so, well, just say that. Cousins. Does he have any cousins? Uh, <laughs> well, I could say, <laughs> okay, well, I could just say if they were still alive, um, then uh, uh, I would say Latin, yeah, off. hold on, let me, let me, my, it's my pronoun that stops me all the time, so hey, thought. Um, I don't know how to say that that he lives in Lawton. Uh, I don't know. Lawton, yeah. Just, just say he lives there. Uh, Lawton, yeah. I know, but I don't know the pronoun. A. Gidel. I don't know. I don't know the pronoun. Hey, Cricket. Yeah. Use the help phrases. Um, 
I don't know how to ask her that either. <laughs> uh, well, you could say like hot so on a thong, yeah, yeah, or or you know you could you could ask I, her to clarify. Yeah, I, I know what I just don't know how to say the pronoun for that. So and 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 elders don't care, you know they they're not gonna, you know. Anyway, so I'm just gonna say, and I'm gonna probably get the pronoun wrong. So Latin, yeah, a kettle. I don't know. Okay, so my father. Okay, I got it. Okay, Latin, yeah, na bottle. Okay. 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 I hope. Uh, can you give me another one? These are good. Mala Mary and Ash. Okay. It's the yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. I like it now. Yogurt. Okay. I'll just get it now. No, Trump or nothing. It's not gone. Oh, I see. Nuts. <laughs> I think your mother. Oh, she got off. So I think that's part of the thing that is um confusing to me is the is is that pronoun. So ha so atai kong. Um What is your aunt's name? Hagya Athotl And that would be um, Latin Kya Na Dottle. And then it would be A Kittle? Just plain Kittle. Just Kittle, okay. Latin Kya Na Thal Kittle. Na Thal Kittle, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, because oh. that would be hashtag. Okay. Sorry, Cricket, really quick. I just want to interrupt for a second. I see uh, Judy is on the line. I know she's also here at this uh, practice. <laughs> um, so, Judy, uh, just letting you know there's a breakout room uh, where Dane is giving people scenarios to use the help phrases um, okay. to get people to practice the help phrases. And then here, we're just kind of, um, since we have uh, our mentors in this room, we're kind of asking, you know, for some questions, asking for quizzes. So that's what Cricket's doing. She wants to practice the kinship terms. So that's, oh. that's what we're doing in this room. Just want to let you know. Oh. Anybody else have any questions they want? I don't want to hog the time or anything. Hey, Cricket, I, I have a, uh, I was going to see if it would be all right if I could share a question. And it was a question that Grandma D had asked me okay. <clears throat> back in, in the, uh, it was last year in Norman when we had our credentialing up there. And um, okay. and it was one of the questions that I got wrong. And, you know, when you do something like that, you never forget it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if the elder gets on to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and it was a question dealing with uh, our kinships. Would okay. Be, would, it be, would it be okay if I ask it? Ha, oh, please, because I need to, I, that's what I want. I want somebody, need people to ask me stuff. Okay, and uh, Grandma D, I don't know if you remember, but it, you probably remember. Uh, okay, I'll ask it. Um, ah, ka, ka, koi, ma, da. Oh, yeah. Koi, ma, da. Ha, you would just say ha. Grandma, ha, so ha. Ha. Ha, okay. So that, my answer would just be ha. Correct? Ha. Correct. Haw. Okay. Yeah, but I, I missed that one because of the uh, that that all that pronoun. I was just uh -huh. I man, yeah, them pronouns are uh yeah, They're those hard. are hard. Yeah, we've got to work on those. But anyway, that was the question that I missed, and I studied that one and I got it down. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um 
you know, uh, looking at, I don't know if I can screen share. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. So, so some of these, um, right here, um, So, like, that was good, that Sai, um, which is over here, your dad's sister, and then, um, then, uh, and Saul would be your mom's sister, or your mom, and then here's your, as a female, here's your uncle, um, so when you're talking about my uncle, just like some of the terms that we don't always do a lot like like that. Um, a and most of those. I think those are the main ones. Hmm. Anybody um, have anything else? Do you have any questions you could ask me, Courtney? Okay, let me think. Put it up here. Here's one. My, your, here's your, and I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> I'm not looking at it. My eyes are okay. closed. Uh, um, ha, ha. So, uh, e, con. Um, so then I would say Sokavi Kong or Tamaroi Kong. Oh. Is that what you say? My son. Uh, Courtney. Sunday. Would you ask it again, please? And while I don't. Hot so, hot so, uh, e. Okay, yeah, you're going to be Hyundai. No, she hot so, 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 or would I say, because I'm saying it's my son, would I say na? Ha. Oh. Na sokavi. Na e. Na e. And then would I say his name? Yes. Sokavi ka. Na e tamaroi ka. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess you could just say their name, but. For you to help you with your pronouns. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. How do you eat? Get off. How do you Hagia yeah. ita uh, hiro. Uh, ita? Is that what you said? Ita hiro? Uh, uh, ita. Okay. Um, na ita. Uh, how would I say that? Norman kya. Na ita hiro. Oh, oh, you could say no, Ethan. 
Norman Gakil. Na ita Norman Gakil or na or Norman Gya. Na ita Gakil. Na ita Gakil. Okay, Gakil. Okay, so either way. Okay. All right. This is good. Aho. Yeah, it's helping me too because I haven't done kinship either um, for my level two. Yeah, like trying to make it oh. hard. <laughs> and that's Not what Grandma knowing Martha Knowing the terms, but answering. Grandma Martha said that's what we need, how we need to practice though is by um, making our own sentences hmm. and working through them. Okay. So that to construct them. Okay. So um this is good. Anybody else? I'm not looking at the chart. I have it up there to help make a sentence, but I'm not looking at it. I'm trying I'm not looking at it to help. Close your eyes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh Honda and Sido. So with the T D um, sound. Honda and Sido. There you go. Um, um, I don't think I was ever clear on when we talked about Ita, Ita, Satan. Who uses it, male or female? Male. Male. Go to it. Male does. Male. Okay. Yes. Oh. And they use it. Is it calling? Is it calling to? Where is it? There it is. It's calling to for a male. Do you see it right here? Okay, so that would just be the male, and it's only when he's calling to. Mm -hmm. Do you see that little highlight that I have? Okay, that's the only time. Okay. And so then when we call to, it's by their name. Hyundai inside, children. Children. Honda. Let me say it. Or well, what Honda. do you want to say? Like my Honda. children okay. or your children or um E. We're talking, you're talking about E, your son. Um, and there was a word and it was on the other chart, and it was bowl. Or is oh, it back to the men form? Yes, I guess it was okay. the men. So I think all that is calling to. And that's, mm -hmm. um, this is when you're talking to, and that's the man. Okay. They have more things that they can say um, when they're calling to a relative, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have, if you look at the women's chart, we use names a lot. We don't have as, we don't have as many terms when we're calling to them. Uh, so, bowl. Is it bowl, bottle for the men when they're calling? Some some people put a little D in there and some people don't. Depends on your, your slang. Dolores, how would you say that? Well, bowl. Is it bowl? How do you say it? Uh, bowl. 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 Oh, that's man. Oh, do you just and just men yeah. say that? Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Okay, so back to your, and then on the look away base form. There's her. You could ask me some of those. <laughs> There's your. Okay, I'm looking away again. Okay, there you go. Anybody want to ask a question? Um, let's see.
grandma door uh, grandma grandma d uh, oh <clears throat> on day to say uh so um hot to let's see i'll say the sentence and then if you'll tell me if i'm right so how they eat huh? okay so then i would I'm say uh baga eta oh wait baga na eta how would they say that because you have to have a a verb there ask your question again courtney i've already forgotten how they is that what you said oh how they how how they if i was asking how old is her daughter how old how they uh eat uh oh asada is that the way to ask that yeah how many winters sada would be at the end i thought you were asking how many okay. girls did i okay, have so Oh, okay. So that's what I was trying to figure out is uh, asato. Asato. So, um, so how how they aita asato. Okay. So, um, was that what you'd say, or would you say how they eita asato? No, no, that's she wants. Are you asking how many daughters do you have? Yeah, that's what she's asking. Okay. How many I'll, winters? I want to ask her how many? Oh, how many winters? Is, how old is my daughter? Oh, how old? Age. How the Ata Asada? Ah, yeah. So the A, the because the. That pronoun's got to go by the verb. For how many winters does she have? Oh, okay. So then I would say. Okay, so uh, that's. What I but I would like to know what I thought you were saying. Uh oh, they. Um, how many daughters do I have? How would you ask that question? Because that's what I thought you were saying. Ha o te a e ta da. How would you no, say that? No, ha o te a e ta ga da. Ga da. That, yeah, ga da is do, how many do you have? Okay. But uh, as far as a, you're asking the number, I don't know, you say e e ta, ha o te e ta ga da. Yeah. You wouldn't say a eta. You say no. ha the eta gada. Ha. Okay. I'm asking how many daughters do you have? Okay. So ha the eta gada. Then I would say pa ga eta nada. A a da. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, pa ga eta. Ain't all. Oh. <sighs> I'll never get these pronouns right. Okay. But then the question you wanted to answer, I mean, wanted that you were asking me, trying to ask me, Courtney, was ha o de, ha o de, e ta asada. And my answer would be uh, na e ta. Um, no, no, that's not what I would say. I would say, um, uh, ye, ye ki pa ta, um, uh oh, am I gonna get this right? Ain't sada. No. Ah. Is that, is that, well, I'm talking about my daughter. Yeah, but it's 
อ่าอ so and so อ I'm gonna cry. ืมอ่า Okay. Okay. Well, you get you remember you get me mixed <laughs> Okay, okay. up. Remember <laughs> Patrick Cricket's always getting me mixed up on pronouns. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna try again. All right, so I will say uh ye ki pa ta Asada. Okay, what would I say? Okay, na ita yi ki pa ta asada. Yeah, ha. Oh. Okay. So na ita, so my daughter, 21 winters, have winters. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maha te am gesado. Uh, they um gesado. Um, How they um who's gesado. Who's um? Who's um? Who's um? Okay. Nobody tell me, and I'm not looking. Okay. Um, who is um? Oh my gosh. Ask it again, Mom. Well, I asked you that way. There's another way to ask, but I'm going to ask it the way I did. I don't know if I'm, well, like I say, Okay. how they, how they, I could say, how they, I'm guessado. Or I could, oh, actually, I'm saying, how, how they guessado. But I'm saying, how, Oh, either okay. one, either one is, I'm asking, how old are you? You, okay. Um, okay. So then, uh, they, um, see, I was trying to figure out who Um was. <laughs> um is me. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so, hold on, my, okay, so that, um, uh, Like uh, you he, could probably use that if you were uh, oh, tell. were several people speak, you know, somebody saying so and so is so many years old and going so, and then someone could say, How now, how the am gesado. And you, yeah, okay. Then I would say, uh, okay, so aunt a uh, aunt a uh, ki ha o ta uh, a sada. Oh, I got the pronoun right. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, let me. Okay. <sighs> It's so hard. But see, that's what stops you up is from talking is those pronouns. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Okay. Uh okay. My aunt. All right. That was good. Aho. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? Okay, how about this? If I say, um, uh, Uwe day, let me see. If I say, Uwe day, Atal ye geda. What am I saying? But don't look at the sheet. Say it again. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. If I say, Ui de Atal ye geda. Like if somebody didn't know. Who is she? That. Who is your grandmother? Yeah, you're saying she is your grandmother. You're saying she is your grandmother. <laughs> so right here, this is 
or over there, that is your grandmother. Oh, so okay. like if I'm talking to my kid and I'm looking over there because it's one of, you know, Kevin's dad's sisters, right? And I would say, uh, over there, Uwe day, Atali Gada. Oh. Okay. And then uh um, Atali Gada, not Gada. Okay. Gada. Uide Atali Gada. Oh. Okay. Um, can he go? Okay. So guys, don't look. I'm going to say this and y'all can see if you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Let me try to get one that's... Okay. If, if I say this. Okay. Can he go at a or at a get Da de Gabonta. You'll have to say it again. Okay. I said it was a long, it's a long sentence. Okay. So. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm talking Navajo. Uh, a like uh, a. Anyway, uh, got a get day gabon thought. Now I don't know what at a is. Are you saying a? Is it supposed to be nasal? Because there's not a a nasal at it. Well, what are you saying? Tomorrow I will see your uncle. Yes. So it's aim. Okay, so I wonder if I can change this because it doesn't have a nasal in it. Okay. Okay, there it is. Hmm. Okay, let's say that. Okay, let me say that again. Can he go? Can he go? At a get da de gabon da. No, you you added. Can he go get da de? Is that what you're saying? Just say can he go? Can he go at a? Oh, I don't need a uh, get da day. No. Okay. Wait. Get <clears throat> Okay. So I don't need that part. So you could just say, can he go at a gabon thaw? Oh. And that means I will see your uncle tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Does anybody else want to do these and put in a, a a relative in there? Oft a oft a. So I'm trying to do ones that. You we're not um you know, we're not as familiar with or I'm not as familiar with like a and 
I like when you said Sai, that's your aunt. And then what's another one that's not as familiar? I think those are the main ones. Can somebody else ask me a question? Hmm. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Strange. Can you guys see? Oh. Oh. I can't see y'all anymore. That's weird. Yeah, we can things. see you. And I think, think uh, some I, people are jumping back in here from the breakout room. I don't know if uh, you got finished. Uh, there's Ramon and Alice Ann. Okay. Who joined us again. Mm. Okay. So right now we're asking. Uh, questions on um, somebody's kinship using different ones, but do you want me to ask this to somebody? Does somebody want me to quiz? Where did y'all go? Um, <laughs> Let me see if I can. We're here. No. Y'all's faces, faces are not popping up on my screen. So it's strange. Anyway, it's weird. Um, when I screen share. So um did all right, so I'm gonna put participants up here so I can at least see you. Um so does anybody want to want me to ask them or do you want um You want to ask me Alice, some more? Uh, Alice Ann says she's cooking dinner, but she's listening. But mm -hmm. she's uh, probably not going to ask anything <laughs> or respond. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Hergar, can you ask me more questions on my on family? Or I can just try to translate. Uh ha so ataki hage ataki kilo. Okay. Um so uh, when she was alive, um so Tulsa, hold it, hate the na, so Tulsa, um, Tulsa, kya, na, ta, ki, kiro. Yes. Oh, I did it right? Ah, yes. Wow. Okay. Tulsa, kya, na, Okay. Uh, if she wanted to, she could just say Tulsa Gya Gido, right? Yeah, she could. Okay. Since y'all uh, already since you already asked Atanki. Yeah. But we're trying, right? We're trying to learn. Our, our focus is the the kinship, right? So that's why. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. And it 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 is good practice to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm just starting to catch like things where. Um, you don't have to. Yeah, like whenever. Yeah. Um, uh. 
Mrs. Rhodes and uh, Dolores did the um, walkthrough at the Norman class. And then uh -huh. she just responded to it as I'm Adel, rather than going through and saying, Paul, no Adel, honde honde in bon. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Ramon, can you ask me a question on a family term? Like one that, that we don't use as often, and I'm not looking, my eyes are closed. Are you there? Yeah, okay, sorry. Okay. I was okay. muted. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so that would be my mom's brother. Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to say the whole thing. So it takes me a second. Hey, stop. So, no. Wait. Would I say that? Mike. I mean, I could say it short and just say Mike Kong, but I want to say na tang or ain not a. Ah, would I say just Mike Michael Kong? Oh, is that the oh. correct? Okay. Not a Michael Kong. And that would be my mom's brother. Oh. I hope I'm, not. It's off the subject, but I wanna before it's over, I wanna ask Ramon how his class is doing. And Carnegie Public Schools. Oh, um, it's doing uh really good. Um, at first, uh, we had seventeen, and then kind of jumped all the way up to twenty four. But there was also some kids in there who kind of just um didn't really need to be in there. Um, they kind of were just thrown in there due to their schedule. So, um, <laughs> some of them didn't care and there was a couple that caused problems um but thankfully they just on their own they decided to leave the class um and let's see we just started actually this week um getting into the help phrases and um just a greeting and the departure and some of them <clears throat> Uh, there's a couple that are like really keen on learning. They're really um, excited or especially when I have uh, stuff like bell work, um, just like s simple words. Sometimes they'll really be like, oh, I feel like I've heard that before. And then I'll use it or say in a sentence or give a hint. And then like they'll get excited whenever like they make that connection. Um, and the... The funny thing is how some of them are quiet, but I keep saying just about every day, y'all are going to have to talk. You know, this is a language class. I'm not just going to sit here and <laughs> not talk. So I like some of them uh, kind of looked like they, their eyes got big whenever I would say that too. Uh, but I think they're, some of them are starting to get comfortable. Um, because I also have to uh, sometimes say, like, you know, all of y'all are in the same boat, you know, through no fault of y'all's own, you know, y'all don't know it. So it's okay to mess up. You know, that's what we're here for. We're learning along. Like, of course, we're going to make those mistakes, but that's what we're here to do is to learn it, to try and correct those things to make sure we're uh, pronunciating it right um, so that y'all can use it outside of the class so um, 
Be- uh, Hot. 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 Ba go oh a koi a koi um go uh see go ye a koi uh sian sian dog um so but but the two that are in there um especially there's a uh, tali uh he's he's really on about it um he's like he's the and he's the one that's asking the most questions he'll come up to me after class and say so i noticed this like how how would it be said um in this particular way or what's the difference between like this no and this no um and so there it's, on in it's the nice to see so. well good that oh. made me laugh when you said all car <laughs> when, <laughs> when i was when i remember in, in uh carnegie there was this so i was teasing he was a character i think he must have been about a sophomore junior anyway if he sees indian kids going then all our meat and meals say, in it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach it back? <laughs> I did not I don't know what tribe speaks that way. That or A. A. <laughs> My, no. Uh, no. He said, in it. <laughs> I got a question about that. When did you start hearing people say A? Hey, when, when did that start becoming like popular? I have no idea. I always wonder. I said, we need to do a thing on it, symposium, see where it came from. <laughs> I have a contest. I always say, I have a contest who can say that the best. <laughs> I have a. I have it's been, the Ladonna Le- Silverhorn steak now. <laughs> I don't know where where it came came from. I know I didn't hear it at Carnegie in school. Uh, well, I first heard in it from not Akoi Thottle from my dad's brothers, <laughs> and they went to cash. <laughs> and I was like, in it, they would say in it, <laughs> and they're white as can be. <laughs> Oh. They hang around all the Kiwas and Comanches and Cash. Oh. In the 70s, probably 70, yes. 74, 75, that's the first time I heard them talk boys and Arco. They would oh. all come out and say, hey. <laughs> 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 They're catching on. <laughs> yeah. That's what we were wondering is like what Dane was saying is <laughs> when did Indian start saying that? Mm-hmm. Must have been a long time ago. They, those guys start saying it in the seventies. <laughs> I don't think they said it at Rainy Mountain School. They had another term. I can't think of it right now. <clears throat> so their slang wasn't a or and it. it was something else. I'll think of it. <laughs> That's at Rainy Mountain School, way, way back. So through the years, I guess kids found some expression. <laughs> what about no, no, no? We, oh, I would stay in Anadarko in the summer and um, play at the uh, with the Indian band at the horse races and dog races. And uh, we would practice and all that before the Indian Fair. Anyway, so I go back to Tulsa 
and I went to a school that was mostly Kongyong and uh and so and I was saying a all the time because that's what they said at Indian band camp and uh and I got and uh, then my friends that I hang around the uh, I get the Kongyong kids were saying a <laughs> <laughs> in Tulsa didn't even know what they were saying <laughs> What did you? <laughs> well, yeah, that's why. Well, I mean, I don't know what it means, but you know, it's uh, joking when I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was funny. Uh, I had a question. How name Psych thought, Ramon? Monday. Um. So I was speaking with Hope. Um. For the beginning of this week and she was talking about assessments you know and what what are right. your your uh what are they requiring you to do for assessments in um carnegie um i don't think necessarily the schools making me do anything okay uh, the only assessments that i've done is stuff for the program so, and I think also too, um, with the uh, MOAs that we've signed with Carnegie, and I, I believe with the other schools, they, they should be doing it too. Um, we'll just be able to share that information um, with each other. So like, I would assume if the school wanted to see the um, student's progression Obviously, there would be a pre-assessment at the beginning of the year, which they already took. Um, it was like a 20-something question. It was, it was kind of loosely like the KLCRP pre-assessment, but oh. um, there wasn't as much in it. And then there was a little bit added to it um, <laughs> just because like, I feel we might go over uh, other stuff during the year. Okay. Um, but one of the other things that I put in there just to be like generic as possible was this um, paragraph at the very end that said, list as many words that you know in Kiowa as possible. It doesn't matter what orthography, you know, however. And I think the most that had been written by one person was like 15 words. Okay. I mean, that's still a lot, you know, mm -hmm. for someone that's under 18. Um, but then we're hoping, you know, especially at the end of the year, not only will they be able to answer the questions of the post assessment, but also to be able to make that list, hopefully longer than 50 words or longer than 100 words. That way, <clears throat> the school and the program sees, okay, children are learning, you know, either however much of a rate or whatever it might be mm -hmm. um, so and phrases that hopefully by the end they'll be able to put some phrases down too yeah that's, i'll probably i'll cool. probably word that um in the post assessment because i figured mm -hmm. the only phrases they were bound to know would either be basal and or abon if or they Wow. Oh, and Hane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, because they, they knew the simple That's the only ones, one like I knew. One words, but like a lot of a lot of the children, I would go through like that first day. I was asking how to and like mm -hmm. it. They just look at me, and then I have to say it in English. What's your name? Mm, and that okay. that was most of them. I would say there was probably like one or two that knew what to say mm -hmm. so good oh, so huh? that's a good way for the assessment i think that's what she was talking about i didn't quite know that's why i was asking you because she said something about assessments and i was like i didn't know what she meant like yeah i think hers was just mainly that word bank so that was kind of her okay. idea to do it in their part of to be uh, make it part okay. of all right cool all right very awesome i'm so excited for 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 those 
for the three schools for Carnegie, Anadarko, and and uh, the Cheyenne School. What? Where is it again? Weatherford. 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 Okay. Um, Riverside isn't Tim doing? And Riverside, ha? Huh? Yes. Yep. Who? Yeah. Who? Um, I have a question. Who named Who named Psycho? Who got all them, who, who got them schools? I know you did. Ramon got Carnegie. Congratulations. Oh, appreciate who it. Got, oh, who got the other schools? Nelson, uh, this is Melody, and um, I'm teaching at uh, Weatherford High School in oh, Weatherford, nice. Oklahoma. <laughs> cool. Congratulations. And uh -huh. Julia is doing Anadarko. Who? Julia, no, uh, Julia. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, Julia. And, okay. and y'all say somebody's doing Riverside? And Tim. Oh, okay. Awesome. Does Elgin still have a program? Um, As far as I know, yes. uh, my cousin took it uh, last year and the year before. So he was, because he's in high school over there. My cousin. Can't believe it, a little cousin. But um, we don't know who's over there though, as far as who's teaching it. The language program doesn't know. What isn't it still? Um, uh, is it Miles watch it. That's who took it. That's who was teaching it last year and year before to my, uh, oh. to my cousin. On your hug. Yeah, it's Miles. But Nelson, I think I want to say Lawton and uh, Cash are are wanting a teacher, and they will pay for one. They will pay full time or part time, whatever anybody wants to teach. If you uh, want, Lawton is good to go, and they are ready to have you. Whomever had passed, you know, so as long as it can be a world language, somebody that's passed the credentialing level one with the language program. Um, they are ready, they already have it approved to pay for either a full-time teacher that could fill up your day or at least starting one class. Oh, yeah, someone, and, someone sign up to teach in Lawton. Yeah, I mean, they, awesome. they're ready for, they were ready for it this year, wanted it last year. Um, also, I talked to Norman and Ed today, and uh, and they want a teacher for next year. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Maybe Max will give up all you and go to Norman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think that's just going to be one, <laughs> one or two classes. I think well, one at each school, I think. Yeah. So it's two classes. At the high school? Yes. Hall. So one at North and one at High? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, and of awesome. course, after that, then it'd be four, you know, then it'd be four classes once you had a Kiowa too but not this year. I mean, you know, until that, until you finish that first year. Oh, uh, so at Weatherford, um, the way that I've set up the assessments for the class is um, using our Kiowa proficiency, um, but for um, also using the world language standards. And so the students, I've split the curriculum into units and for each unit they have to do uh, an interpretive task, an interpersonal task, and a presentational task. And so um, that's their, their summative assessments. And then um, they get formative assessments in the form of bell ringers and exit tickets um, each day. And then they do weekly quizzes where they uh, get, you know, uh, quizzed on kind of some of the more writ written things. But that's how I've set it up. Oh. Well, it's good to hear all of this as a mentor and one who misses hearing Kiowa 
all the time. The way I grew up, less and less, and so we're coming back. So, get ah, get. Oh. Oh. oh, that's three more school districts that you know will pay for somebody. Yeah, that's other really than exciting. the four that we got. So we've got Riverside, Weatherford, Carnegie, and Adarco that are going right now. That's three more, and then uh, Western Heights will do one too um, next year. If I can get it together, that would be four more. But we need to find teachers to go to those sites. Oh. And poor Tulsa has enough going on with their school system right now. They're not, <laughs> they may want it, but they've got enough going on right now with their school system, school district. So, well, um, if anybody wants to work with me and um I just any time over I don't I need to look at my phone but any time over the weekend or something I I need somebody to help quiz me um I'm open to meeting and I don't mind quizzing you too um I you know that's fine but I need somebody to help to help me and ask me questions and quiz me if anybody would like to help me out that way. Cricket, oh. our community, the Norman community classes, the next one is September 18th, did you say? Yes. Because um, the JOM is so there's Labor Day, and then there's the uh, Johnson O'Malley Conference on the 11th through the 13th. So then there's then we can have a Kiowa class on the 18th. Oh. And then after that, I've got. Uh, Kiowa class on the 16th because Indigenous Peoples Day is on the 9th. What are you uh, practicing, Cricket? I'm available like Saturday nights. Okay. Um, somebody asking me questions like uh, what, what we were doing earlier was uh, so if you look at just Oh, are y'all kids? Can y'all see this on screen share? I might need to stop and reshare it. Oh, so, no, I see. The can show. Okay. Yeah, so like right here, asking, you know, saying these uh, questions and, um, you know, like, or these sentences and putting in a, um, uh, a kinship in there. And then I would translate it. You know, I'm not going to look at it, you know, just translate it or or answer you if you're asking me about my stuff you know so like right here so if you ask me these quick these two or these statements or ask me a question um about these kinship terms i mean if I you, would, got, you know if you need anything on saturday night i'm available okay um, I don't know. Let me let me make sure I have your number. Uh, let's see. Hold on, Catherine. Let's see. Would you do it on Zoom? I have it. I I have you, Kathy Dickerson, three one four. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I'll message you. 
He wouldn't know if yes. you're doing it on Zoom. Oh, am I doing it on Zoom? Um, I guess we can. Oh. But I would mess it. I would get to. I would talk with you on text first. Okay. Oh. Kathy, when is your program on? I don't have a program. <laughs> oh, okay. No, radio? I radio. The oh, radio. My radio. Yeah, that's yeah, Tuesday right. night. Tuesday nights? Uh, 7 to 9. And that's kdhx.org. I'll put it in the chat thing. Okay. I, I talk a little Kiowa on there. That's what I'm, you know, just, I do the introduction and the... The exit greeting. Uh, you can even just Google Essence of the Tribes. It comes right up. Oh, you know what? I'm already starting to get students and kind of start noticing a difference now and in, in the students that I'm coming in who are Kiowa. <clears throat> there are some coming into that first class and, you know, they're not just saying hall and, and, you know, using the slang, but there are some that, you know, within the first two days as freshmen coming in, they're using some of those phrases like, um, like, Hey, I'm oi bone. So that's the one I'm, I, I, I never really heard anybody come to those classes and just use that one right off the bat when they're leaving. So I'm starting to see more and more students that are young coming in and using more phrases. So, um, um, it's the stuff that I never actually really heard before right. that time. Yeah, so. I'm doing it on the radio. I'm doing it on the air. And uh, so a little bit at a time, you know, but you guys are teaching me and it's going out to, I've gotten responses from England and Poland and places like that. So yeah, they're, they're here in Kiowa. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's really awesome, Dane, that you're able to, you know, tell a difference in what the program and all this sev several years of work that the program has been doing is making a difference in students coming into OU. Oh. That's neat. Let's have a quick question. Is my, uh, uh, not and there, uh, Christian Sink? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. So he, he, he was one of the ones that was like, hey. <laughs> oh, so hot. <laughs> so that would be your uncle, right? No, my nephew. Nephew, okay. My sister's son. Your sister's kid, okay. Oh. Yeah, he told me that today, and I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that out of a second or third day <laughs> class. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, right at the end of the school year, that's when we um, we got permission to go in and kind of do some uh, stuff during Carnegie's enrichment hour, mm -hmm. um, and basically just over that time frame we just did um like hoi po hyom do uh hey uh de on de in bon and then hegai mo i bon ta and then also i think the only thing we expanded on on top of that was just saying maz two baz three or more and then that was about it so okay all right that's good Yeah, that was definitely noticeable in there. And there's two other guys in there that I'm pretty sure are Kiowa. One, I didn't realize he was Kiowa, but he said, oh, my grandma says that all the time. And it was one of the phrases in there. So I was like, okay, he's got to be Kiowa. <laughs> or at least uh, knows uh, people that use it all the time. But he said his grandma uses it, so. Yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully next year, because uh, there are some seniors in the class right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I could see some of the, a couple of them possibly going to OU. Um, 
<clears throat> but hopefully they'll they'll really be able to maybe even just go ahead and pass all the tests immediately. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, if they do that, then we'll have a reason to have a test out type thing too. Oh, okay. Oh, that'd be cool. So we can test out first one, go to the second one, things like that. Because that's all we didn't have is we had somebody that took the classes down in dark but this is about 12 years ago, 15 years ago almost. And they were wanting to test out and I was trying to tell them you don't, we don't have, we can't do that right now. But I don't think they would have been able to make it through at that time because it wasn't the same stuff that we were learning and that, that it takes to go through those classes. But I think now it's gonna work because uh, all of our materials have expanded now. So people know a lot more than they did back then. And students coming in. Oh, and you have a process. And I think a lot of us are using like some of the level one materials Everywhere. to teach and develop Everywhere. curriculum. Yeah. So hopefully people will have a lot better proficiency level, you know, when they get to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to see, like you said, those, uh, those uh, high schoolers that are come in. <laughs> I'm going to figure out how to do that. It's like, oh, this uh, that first class is probably going to be boring. <laughs> That's, it's all the stuff they knew. It's probably being easy. They probably like the five credits from that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Shoot, I would want to test out. I'd want to stay in there and make a good A. <laughs> yeah, just talk the whole time. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. You'll have that. I've always said we need a Kiowa four. Yeah. We need a Kiowa four. That'll probably help it too. Even if it's three days a week, we need a Kiowa four. So oh, and that, and that process, I think the process that we're going through for the new uh, level ones is also what we're doing here at OU. And so we got to try that out last spring. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's good enough to show how much they understand, which is quite a bit uh, during a first uh, semester, um, first semester time frame, and it focuses on their understanding. But it's also coming off like uh, people are going to say it's an easier class uh, without <laughs> taking away from what they're learning. So okay. that we got to get as many people in this class and overcrowd these classes as possible so we can hire a new, uh, a new. Uh, a new teacher exactly. over here and yeah and because we need to get one over here but the process is just going to be a slow for for at least a year or so mm -hmm. i guess we got to prove that we need another uh, another teacher and once they uh uh once they didn't hire back for several of us you know it's kind of it's getting harder to do that with this new freshman class and with the classes going out that were over covid um I, I think that was a that was that contributed. Everybody who was used to that COVID, those COVID years, it was real hard to get them to come to class. So I think it's on an upward trend right now. It looks like it at least because I had I had about uh, a third of my class was freshmen, and I haven't had freshmen take my class in that those numbers since before COVID. Mm. So hopefully that gets opened up so somebody can be, be able to go in there and, and, and take over that position. And they had the highest enrollment uh, freshman. This is the largest freshman class ever in the history of OU. So hopefully that'll help increase numbers too. Oh. Well, that's cool. So, Max, are you working um, uh, as an ethnomusicologist at OU? Oh, yeah, that's what they hired me. So, teaching cool. uh, different music classes. Very cool. Yeah, and I would I would love to get um, some of you all into the classroom too. You know, for uh, some of my native students um, that are in my undergrad class, and also uh, teaching a grad seminar on uh, indigenous musics so uh -huh. if you want to sing would love to have y'all in did is chris did christina G, uh, giacana leave uh no she's still there um okay. but 
she's yeah she's just teaching right now okay all right well aho alice hey guys oi bon tha alice she's still there i guess she left no oh, yeah i guess you can't read that now <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. A cobot. Oh. 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 